This is Twit. Bill's in Pasadena, California. Hello, Bill. Hey, Leo. How are you today? I'm wonderful. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. Um, I have sort of a two-part question. I'm 50 years old, and I'm considering a career change. And I'm thinking about learning coding. And, and I'm wondering what would be a good language to, to start, like Python or Ruby or something like that. And at my, I mean, is it even worth it if I'm looking for work? Like, how would I get work when there's so many 20-somethings that yeah. already do all this stuff? Is and they're cheap, point? right? And they're easy. But you, so you may or may not, I think you can get work. There's huge demand. You're going to want to be very careful and pick an area where there's a need, right? So there's plenty of web front-end developers out there, but you're going to pick something that may... But all of this will be moot until you uh, learn a language, although the language you choose is even impacted by this. So for so I think a little research-based, uh, you know, get out there, do some information interviews, find out where there's a need. For instance, if there's a need for people who can write code for Windows... Uh, in Visual Basic, then that then you would want to learn Visual Basic and Visual Studio on Windows. If I if you just asked me, I want to learn programming. I'm not necessarily focused on career. I might say Python is a great starting language to learn. And of course, there are, the other thing that impacts this is where do you learn? And there are a lot of courses for learning Python, even free courses out there. Java might be the single still the single most useful language. Most systems programs are written in C++, a lot of big applications too. So it's a, it really is going to be a question of figuring out where there's demand because as an, as, as an older worker entering the marketplace, yeah, you're right. I mean, I'm older too. It gets harder and harder. It's coding is particularly seen as a young person's game. But I think you have a lot of value to offer, but you've got to find the right niche. So figure out where there's demand. Uh, learn the languages that are most useful in that area. That's where you start. You start with demand. Uh, there are lots of places you can learn online. This is the good news, free or inexpensively. And uh, if you're motivated, if you're good at it and you love it, I think you can always find work. I really do. And it's a, boy, it's a heck of a lot of fun to program.